walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Sergey Kovalev and Andre Ward is about to fight on November the 19th. It's about to go down. Everybody in boxing is talking about this fight. This is a really good matchup. Two undefeated fighters. And um, in their prime, Sergey Kovalev has three belts at light heavyweight. He is the dominant light heavyweight champion. Andre Ward has been proven for years now. And um, it's looking like Sergey Kovalev is just going to be another stepping stone. Now, everybody know what my prediction is for this fight. I'm predicting Sergey Kovalev to knock out Andre Ward. But everybody know that I don't know shit about boxing. And normally, when I pick a fighter to win, I'm wrong. But that's my pick. I'm picking Sergey Kovalev to win the fight, to knock Andre Ward the fuck out for the first time in his professional career. I feel like I'm trolling a little bit. I'm not meaning to do that. All right, look here. Let's just put the cards on the table about this situation. Okay, Andre Ward. I feel like Andre Ward is has slowed down a little bit, right? I feel like he's not the fighter that he used to be. You know, I think he's still a great fighter, and he can defeat a lot of fighters. Now, Andre Ward is a smaller fighter than Sergey Kovalev. Like, um, physically, he's moving up in weight. And um, Sergey Kovalev would never be able to make 168 in a million years, you know, if he tried to right now. He's been at 175 forever. So, oh yeah, his entire professional career. So I feel like, and, and you know, it's just like, Andre Ward is, I mean, his reflexes seem a little bit slower. He doesn't seem as accurate. His footwork doesn't seem as quick as it used to be back in those Super 6 days. He took a couple years off. I think those couple years killed him, to be honest. I really do. I think those couple years killed him. And, um, you know, Sergey Kovalev is, is hitting these guys so motherfucking hard, man. It's, it's ridiculous. You know, um, he can, like, land, a, barely land a shot, and it's really hurting these guys. You know, and, um, I mean, I got my suspicions about Kovalev and his power. But, you know, if, if he's doing everything right, which he hasn't been caught doing anything before in the past, and um, he going to that fight with that same power that he's having, in all of these other fights, man, you know, it's always crazy for me to watch Sergey Kovalev fight just to see like um, the reactions that he get from his punches to his opponents. You know, it's always it's always interesting to me to see like how these opponents deal with his power, you know, and how they react once they get hit with his shots. It's amazing. And I, I feel like, you know, something might not be right, but, you know, like I said before, He's never been caught doing anything wrong before, so we got to assume that he's a clean fighter. But it's just like he has, like, overwhelming, devastating power. I don't feel like Andre Ward is going to be able to um, hurt Sergey Kovalev. I don't think he's going to be able to hit him hard enough to, to gain Sergey Kovalev's respect. You know, we'll see how strong Andre Ward is on the inside when um, Sergey Kovalev try to run up on him and Andre Ward attempt to smother his attack. We'll see. But I feel like Sergey Kovalev is going to win this fight. You know, I'm rooting for Andre Ward to win. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching Andre Ward for so many years. You know, I mean, born style or not, he's been dominant. And um, in fact, you know, he's really good at doing what he do, man. He is. You know, he barely take any punishment. He barely ever loses a round. I mean, he's really effective at doing what he do, whether it's ugly or not. He's effective. And Sergey Kovalev is definitely effective with completely hammering these guys into submission. Now that we got that out the way, now let's go back. Let's switch gears. Sergey Kovalev. Now, he the first belt that he ever won was that WBO title, right? You know, and um he beat Nathan cleverly to win that that belt. That was a great win. He knocked him out in the fourth round. I have nothing to say about Sergey Kovalev winning that fight, you know what I'm saying, against Nathan Cleverly because he's a really good boxer. Oh, yeah, matter of fact, let's, um, Sergey Kovalev's record is 30-0 and 0 with 26 knockouts. And the first belt he ever won was Nathan Cleverly, the WBO belt. 
You know, um, the reason that I'm going to go over his resume a little bit is because if and when Andre Ward win this fight, he's not going to get the credit that he deserves. It's really fucked up, man. You know, um, Sergey Kovalev ducked the Donna Stevenson and, you know, everybody excused it. You know, um, Kathy Duva asked for a rapid purse bid. She pulled out and then um, she started acting like Adonis Stevenson was the one that was ducking the fight and Kovalev did too. You know, and, and you try to tell people that and then they don't want to hear it. They just be like, shit, Adonis is ducking the fight. No, it's Kovalev is ducking the fight. He was excused for ducking that fight. I mean, the WBC has confirmed this. They said that it's not Adonis Stevenson's side that's holding up the fight. It's Sergey Kovalev's side. Okay, saying that. And um, Sergey Kovalev hasn't really done shit in his professional career. He hasn't really like fought too many big names, you know what I'm saying? And um, really great fighters. You know, he hasn't really done much to prove himself, you know? And um, he has a couple names on this record and that's what we gonna go over in this video. But um, his, the lack of stars on his resume, made the, the lack of names on his resume is gonna, it, it, I mean, it's going to take away from Andre Ward's victory if he won the fight. You know, I really don't like it, but it is what it is. All right, man. Nathan Cleverly, he beat him. Okay, next after he fought him, he fought Ismail Silla. Okay, you never heard of him before? Neither have I. Cedric Agnew. Who the fuck? Blake Caparello. You know, I mean, these are undefeated fighters, these last two fighters that he fought. But they are like, nobody don't know who these dudes is, man. You know, and... um. They probably just bums, you know, you could go and watch some tape on them and shit. It's a lot of fighters, you know, a matter of fact, some fighters even talked to me and they was like, look, man, you know, I'm going to just fight like um, cherry picks and bums and shit and build my record up so I can like fight one of these top fighters and, and get paid. You know, I mean, some people, you could actually do that. Just fight like fighters with 0 and 5 and, and 1 and, and 10. I mean, Kel Brook was fighting people with like 12 and 128. Uh, records, you know, 128 losses and shit like that, or maybe even 170 something losses. So, you know, those names ain't shit. You know, you ain't do shit. You get no credit for that. And in comes Bernard Hopkins. That fight was for three titles at 175. Now, Bernard Hopkins, it was in his 50s or pretty close to it. He was good enough to defeat those guys to win those belts, but, you know, he's still seen better days. Fifteen years ago, Bernard Hopkins would have kicked Sergey Kovalev's ass. That just happens to be a fact, but Sergey Kovalev came along. Bernard Hopkins was getting old, although he was still, you know, um, making history. But Sergey Kovalev put an end to that. Sergey Kovalev shut him out. You know, Hopkins didn't win that one round. I believe Hopkins went down in the first round. And, you know... It was a glazing shot. It looked like Kovalev called Bernard Hopkins coming in. And um, Bernard Hopkins was never the same fighter after that. After he felt Sergey Kovalev's power, it was like he didn't want to get hit with that power again. And it was just like it was an ugly fight. Bernard Hopkins, he couldn't really get his offense going. Sergey Kovalev knew he was winning rounds, so he just pretty much just um, coasted to that victory. Then he fought John Pascal. You know, I mean, you would think you just beat John, uh, Bernard Hopkins and you fought John Pascal. Now this guy is kind of doing something. He um, beat the shit out of John Pascal in that first fight, but it was an entertaining fight. You know, John Pascal came to fight. He was fighting back. And then, um, but but Sergey Kovalev clearly won that fight. There was no need to, for a rematch. He fought Najib Mohammadi in Las Vegas. John Pascal fought on an undercard against Yaniski Gonzalez. Now, HBO really wanted Unesky Gonzalez to win that fight for uh, Sergey Kovalev to have a new opponent instead of John Pascal. He wouldn't have sold shit because John Pascal fought on that same card. He said that the fight only sold fucking 1,000 tickets. But I'm picking Sergey Kovalev to win the fight, man. I think that Andre Ward isn't the man that he used to be. I think Sergey Kovalev is going to run right through him, man. Sergey Kovalev by knockout, late knockout. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in for Travis Gotti. Bye. Subscribe. Gotta quit fucking with you. Gotta quit fucking with you.